Thanks. Yet another chapter in the Ray Nagin saga today as the former mayor reported to federal prison in Texas. He, of course, was found guilty in February on bribery and money laundering charges. And today, he started serving that 10 year term. WDSU reporter Travers Mackle has more on Nagin's arrival in Texarkana. Always outspoken when he ran for office and then served as mayor of the city of New Orleans, former New Orleans Mayor Ray Nagin didn't say anything as he reported to prison and officially became a federal inmate today. Twelve years ago, he was being sworn in as the mayor of the state's most recognizable city. And today, he turned himself in. Ray Nagin is now a federal inmate and began serving his 10-year prison sentence at this federal facility in Texarkana, Texas. Nagin said nothing as he arrived just before noon. He drove himself in a white Ford sedan and was accompanied by his wife, Salitha, his teenage daughter, and two sons. Nagin, wearing the yellow shirt, hugged his kids and wife at the gate and then surrendered. We asked him back in July if he was prepared for this. Your husband, father of two grown boys and a teenage daughter, how do you prepare yourself for what's coming on September 8th? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I continue to pray and, you know, ask God for strength. Uh, we talk to my, I talk to my family a lot. Uh, they're dealing with it as best they can. Uh, and uh, we'll see what the future holds. Uh, September the 8th is a date that's out there right now, but we, who knows what the future is going to be. And that day is here. No delays, meaning Nagin had to turn himself in. He's been deemed broke by the courts and is using the federal public defender to handle his appeal. If somebody says, what happened? What did happen? Well, in my opinion, I've been targeted. I've been smeared, tarnished. Uh, and for some reason, some of the stances that I took after Katrina uh, didn't sit well with some very powerful people. So now I'm paying a price for that. The satellite camp at Texarkana is the lowest level security in the federal system. And Nagin's former attorney, Robert Jenkins, asked to be removed from this case because he says Nagin is indigent. The court agreed with that, saying that Nagin is in fact broke, meaning any appeals will now be handled by the federal public defender's office. Reporting on your side in Texarkana, I'm Travers Mackle, WDSU News. Ray Nagin is not eligible for parole because he is in federal prison. He can be released, though, for good behavior after either 87 percent, excuse me, 84 percent or 87 percent of time served. If released, he will be monitored via ankle bracelet.